For Passenger Safety Week, our focus is going to be on all passengers inside the vehicle. That's going to include our children who still need to be um, properly harnessed in a car seat. It's also going to include our teenage drivers and us adult passengers as well. So we want to keep our children rear facing for as long as possible. Ultimately, that's going to be the safest position in the vehicle. Um, when it comes to installing the car seat, we want to make sure that we are only using one method. So we only either want to use a seatbelt or the lower anchors, never both. That's not going to be a proper installation. And if we feel like we have the car seat installed correctly, the one thing that we're going to want to do is test it. So we want to test at the belt path. And what my goal is, is to be able to not move this seat more than one inch side to side or front to back. And I want to show you this before I put them in the car seat. So it is these cooler winter months. We want to make sure that we're still not putting our children in a winter coat. So having a blanket over and tucked underneath the shoulder is perfectly fine. And then we do the little pinch test. Our goal is to be able to not pinch any material at the shoulders or also across their laps and that this chest clip falls naturally at their armpit level. Feet touching the back of seat is something that is completely fine as well. And uh, this child is able to stay in the seat until it meets the manufacturer's guidelines. And then they move into that next rear facing convertible seat where they um, max out the white height and weight. For children, they are required to be in some sort of child restraint until at least age eight or four foot nine inches. So oftentimes we find parents who are moving their children into a booster too soon or they're moving their children out of the boosters too soon. We want to make sure that the seatbelt is going across their chest. We don't want the seatbelt to be itching at their neck at all. And then for that lap belt, we want it to go exactly how it is, over the lap. We don't want it to be in that stomach. We don't want anything to be in that soft tissue area. If you think about it, the strongest parts of our bodies are going to be our hips and our shoulders. So that's where we're going to want to make sure that everything is made properly um, fitting and adjusting. We actually want to keep our children in the appropriate car seat for as long as possible. That's ultimately what's going to keep them the safest. Good habits are going to start when your children are young. There have been studies that have shown that if the driver is belted, 92 to 95 percent of the time, those children are going to be also using their seat belts as well and properly harnessed. Right. An important step for us as well is to be properly wearing our seat belts. So it's going to go the same thing kind of for like hitting the booster. And I typically just put some extra that slack out. So what we're wanting to do here is making sure that this is going across my chest. It's not getting to my neck. And this flat belt is going over my lap. Oftentimes what we see is people either not using their seat belts at all or it goes behind them. That is not going to protect us in the event of a car crash. Oftentimes people think an oh, airbag is going to go ahead and replace your seatbelt or vice versa. They work together. Airbags can deploy up to speeds of 200 miles per hour and our vehicles are so smart they know when they need to go ahead and engage the locking system. So that airbag deploys, my seatbelt knows to go ahead and lock me into place so I'm prepared for that impact with that seatbelt. Unbelted passengers are twice as likely to die in the event of a car crash, and they are also able to um, injure those other passengers as well. We call people who are unbelted in the back seat rear seat bullets because they travel very fastly and quickly with a lot of weight and force in the event of that car crash. And if you think about it, if they're behind you, you're already taking that impact, their weight is actually able to push our seat forward and all we have is that airbag. So it's very important that everyone is buckled up and it's gonna go ahead and save lives.